Hey guys, so I have this. I found this at the dollar store. It's called Gemstone Excavation. Dig it out. Science. And so I'm looking forward to trying this. For it to be a dollar store object, it's kind of cool. A little archaeology, uh, gemstone extraction or excavation. And uh, it gives you a little kit and discover hidden pirate treasure. So it's cute. And it's a little science things you can get from dollar store let's see what it looks like so i'm going to switch over to my webcam i have a nice little setup happening with my webcam kind of like over i'll show y'all fast this is my little web camera now so i'm going to switch over to my web camera which has like a little overhead thing and we're going to excavate this little block of whatever you know before i do that Let's see what it looks like on my nice camera because you know my little web camera is not super clear and I was going to use my good camera but I don't want whatever this stuff is inside of the gears like like right now it's got like an open and closed like little eyepiece thing and this camera is I'm quite happy with it and I don't know what dollar store puff is going to do because this is going to be something like break apart I can already feel like the granules on the package and I do not want that to gear or get up in my camera mess with the gears or whatever so I said we're going to switch over to web camera but while we uh while we can let's open it up a little bit okay so you get the instructions place the stone on a clean sheet of paper Place the point of your chisel on the stone and strike the back of the chisel with your mallet. Where's the mallet? Keep digging until you see the treasure on the stone. After you have found the treasure, brush off the res the rest side. The residue was his rest side. This up uh, from the stone with cleaning brush. Then place the treasure in a cup of water and wash it carefully to remove the remaining sand. After washing the treasure, dry off a clean cloth, then display it. I'm, I'm not doing that. So, <laughs> I don't see a mallet. The only thing I see is, I see a little bit, a little brush man. I see a lot of ASMRs do stuff like this, but I think this is a lot more expensive than mine. I got a paper plate. <laughs> and it comes with this little chisel. So, we got our brush our chisel and of course the actual block of sandy treasures you got a little piece of uh plastic so we're gonna open that up gonna switch over and we're gonna dig it out so yeah okay let's see how it goes <laughs> okay so we have our little plate and a lot of people use this as like asmr so i don't know see how it turns out only thing that makes me kind of sad is that it's so washed out. Okay, so we have it out. It's so washed out. You see a little dust on my hands. Okay, so I don't know where the mallet is supposed to be. But they said there's a mallet, so I'm assuming the mallet is just my hand. Am I supposed to have my own mallet? Kind of hard. Oh, this place getting into my lungs. Ugh, we finally got our first crystal. Oh, 
literally one rock. Did I really just get one rock? They couldn't even give me two? They couldn't even give me two? Even three? Oh my gosh. That's some bull. <laughs> okay. This is what we got. <laughs> So after 13 minutes, I got this. I got a rock. Not a lot. One rock. Wow. Okay, we have to talk about this after I let y'all see what I my precious stone is. I'm trying to drop it. So this is what I got from all of my work a rock this is it and it looks like the color of a booger on top of it this is what I got after 13 minutes so yeah what I recommended no and I did the whole freaking block I will show you I did the whole block. The whole freaking block. Yeah. This is what it looks like. I did it all. So you wouldn't have to. And I checked each piece to make sure that I wasn't missing another precious rock and yeah that's that's what I got ah <sighs> that's it that's what I got a rock not even a fake jewel they said and after you're done you can possibly display it and I really thought that I would get like a couple of like at least four like three to four fake dollar store crystals you know little gems no i got a rock and i did hurt myself a little bit on the pick my finger got a little bit busted this dust and after that whole block and by the way the block is hard i had to add water to it and with the water it only helped a little bit I would not recommend using a mallet. They said, oh, well, use your mallet. Where? Instead, I used my fingernail polish and banged on that. And for all my troubles, I got a green rock. Yeah. So... Would I recommend it? Nope. So I wouldn't recommend it at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Um, yeah, it wasn't even soothing. No, I wouldn't recommend it at all. I would spend the extra money and probably buy a professional little fake archaeological cold set. I don't know. I'm done. So <laughs> I will talk to y'all guys later. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, that was that was just the greatest. Okay, on the plus side, I can tell this is probably a natural rock where a shine where a couple of like fake dollar store gems wouldn't be natural at all. They probably really thought it's trying to give you something. Trying to give you something. They gave you one natural shiny rock. That like it came out of a fish bowl pebble. You can buy a whole box of box of these. You can buy a whole bag of them naturally, so okay i'm done okay guys tell me in the comments if y'all tried doing a little archaeology ar i cannot say that word archaeological digs yourselves and if y'all have bought something a little bit better than this if i have any that y'all can recommend me but this one only did cost a dollar and at least it made an interesting video i hope okay guys bye <laughs>